name is Sabella Berlingame, and this is my STEM fair project. I've always dreamed of becoming an astronaut someday, so I wanted to do a scientific investigation that was related to this challenging occupation. On Earth, when people are outside during daylight hours, their eyes and skin are mostly protected from the sun's radiation by our planet's thick atmosphere. In outer space, however, there is little atmosphere, so the sun's radiation can be very dangerous to space travelers. That is why astronauts need to wear special spacesuits and helmets that has a visor. This visor is tinted with a very thin layer of real gold that blocks the sun's harmful radiation from their eyes. But I learned that this gold color makes everything look yellowish orange when the astronauts look through their visors so they don't see the real colors of the objects they were studying. So they sometimes raised their gold visors to see colors better. Unfortunately, that also means their eyes and face are being exposed to dangerous radiation. So I wanted to see if I could do something to prevent that. In my research, I learned that complementary colors are pairs of colors which, when combined or mixed, cancel each other out. A color wheel shows the 12 main colors in wedges that are arranged in a circle like a pie. Each wedge shows the opposite colors directly above or below their position on the wheel. When I looked at the color wheel, I noticed that the opposite or complementary color of gold, or orange-yellow, is a blue-violet, which is also called indigo. I also learned that the color of light coming from the sun on Earth looks different from the color of its light in outer space. On Earth, it looks yellowish-orange due to our atmosphere, while in space, it looks white because there is far less atmosphere. These colors of light can be measured in Kelvin degrees to find out their color temperatures. I learned that the color temperature of the sun on Earth is 5,000 degrees Kelvin, but 5,900 degrees Kelvin in outer space. So to be accurate in my experiment, I wanted to try to duplicate this same color of light found in space to test my hypothesis. Since indigo is the complementary or opposite color of gold, I believe if I add an indigo filter behind a gold one, it will cancel out the gold and make all the colors in space look more normal. I decided my control variables would be the color temperature and brightness of the lights the distance from the lights to the color wheel chart inside the black box, and the camera settings used to take pictures of the results. The changing variable would be the color of the wedges used in the experiment. The responding variable would be the actual colors seen on the color wheel poster located inside the black box. I created my design by following these steps. Step one, create large black box and put color wheel chart inside. Step two, light the color wheel with three ring lights and change the color temperature for the lights until they reach 5,900 degrees Kelvin, which is the color temperature of the sun in space. We used one of my dad's professional video cameras to measure the color temperature. Step three, make two identical color wheel discs that I could see through with both eyes while spinning them on the outside of the box. I made these with colored cellophane and some clear DVD spacers that my dad saved from his work. These wedges are the same 12 colors that are on the color wheel inside, except for blue-green, which I didn't have room for because the discs were too small. 
I also wanted to leave one of the wedges clear without any color added so I could see what the colors on the wheel inside looked like without any filters. Because I wanted to see what change these colors would make behind a gold visor, I put gold cellophane behind all of the wedges except the clear one. I slowly turned the colored discs on the front of the black box to see which wedge made the colors inside appear the most normal behind the gold cellophane. I was very happy to find out in this experiment that indigo was by far the best color out of the 11 colors to use behind a gold visor to correct the colors, so my hypothesis was correct. All of the other colors made the colors on the color wheel poster inside the black box look worse, so I hope someday astronauts will have gold visors with indigo in them.